hey guys, I just realized, and I, I actually did not plan this, believe it or not. Check out the color coordination here. Um, I certainly don't mind it, but these, uh, this is a, a DA active top, and this is, I just, I get my headbands at like, outside of the sparkly sole ones that you guys saw, which are real thin. I like thick headbands. Sometimes I wear the sparkly sole underneath and then I put a thick headband on, because I, I really like, if you have bangs, I think it's different. I like my bangs like not sticking out. Uh, but these I just get at Walgreens. Um, just finished my workout. Mr. Flow, Mr. Flow. Uh, ooh, I certainly feel that I worked my chest. And uh, yesterday in the uh, Miami workout. But today was cardio, so I just finished P90X Plyo, which is always quite the thrill. Um, and uh, I wanted to ask you guys, one of the things I've been doing because again, trying to focus on not just the, um, the look of success, right? What you see in your body, whether it's you weigh yourself, you measure yourself, you do both of those, and then how you look, but also um, how you're progressing in your workouts, getting stronger with your weights, more endurance, and so on and so forth. Um, so I've started to keep, this is really messy, this is welcome to my life. Uh, this is my way of, do y'all have a junk drawer? Like I have a, um, it's not necessarily my junk drawer because I try not to be junky. It's my silverware drawer, but I keep like this notebook in there. And then when I run into things like, well, here's my, why am I showing this? I have no idea. Uh, this dress that I really have to get somehow or another. Realtor things, those can go. Might be moving three weeks. Um, that can go. Another sushi restaurant menu. Notes on my, I'm not even gonna say what that is, Jiffy Lou. But I always will think of something in the kitchen, like, oh, I need foil. So I write myself notes, but now I started to take this out and I take notes when I'm working out. Like if I had a question, remember that one time? Last time I did plyo actually, I was like, why does he tell you to, um, when you're doing Mary Catherine's, to keep your back legs straight? and one of you was kind enough to write back to me, but I was just curious, I wasn't questioning. But like today, um, I noticed when I, now I can't even read my own damn writing. Uh, <laughs> it probably would make sense to actually, I, I literally have no idea what I wrote there, but I did two extra. So in other words, um, when I'm doing uh, certain things and I know like how many in account I've done in 30 seconds, I'll up it by two. And then the next round, he does two, two, like he'll do a one set and he does each set twice for a circuit. So the second time I do the circuit, I try to beat the last time. Those are little things that can make, I think, I think your workout fun. And um, it's kind of like, you know, a game. So just a thought, keep a little notebook. Oh, sweat is dripping down my back. Um, also, a couple of you guys had asked, yes, I did just this week, in the middle of the week, start incorporating my Genetics HD. For those of you following me on Instagram, you've noticed this. Um, I, I, I did pause using this for a while because of the caffeine. So there's caffeine and a lot of, anything that's going to have like fat burner, I think it's pretty much going to have some caffeine in it. So I held off on this until I figured out what my vibe was going to be with caffeine. So now what I do, I take this before my workout, okay? This you're supposed to take three times a day, and because it does have caffeine, and it clearly states it on the back, um, I make sure I take all of this, my third pill, by like three or four o'clock in the, in the um, afternoon. And then, um, right now I've just been, for my vitamins, I've just been taking the GNC um, uh, Women's Active Multivitamin. <sighs> Say that seven times fast. Um, but when I finish that bottle, I will probably switch back to using these, which has a little bit of sweat. Um, I love these pre-packaged things. So this is going to be a little bit more than a, a vitamin. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have to ask Kelly from GNC. This might be what I take in addition to my vitamins because I don't really see anything in there that looks like a vitamin. These all look like supplements. Um, so I will look into that, but I wanted to kind of wait um, and, and kind of like I was doing with my diet. I'm adding more vegetables in, I'm adding this, and then slowly the, the bad things are falling away, or I'm taking one little thing away as I go instead of some big sweeping grandiose diet. It was so easy for me to transition into the plan that Val has for me because I'd already, you know, cut out so much stuff. But it's funny because 
my friend Sherry knows this. In the past, we would look at, we would, we'd, we'd buy a certain book, a certain diet book or whatever, or whatever the hottest thing was out. And, you know, I'd look at it and I'd go, screw this. There's no way I'm giving up my coffee. I'll do anything, but I, I won't give up Diet Coke. Or, There's no, and I'd find some justification. I'd be like, I've lost weight before when I've had bagels. I've lost weight before when I've had this. And it was just this obsession with not wanting to take a certain toy away, which is silly. Because when you realize it, um, there's so much good food to be had. And first of all, our obsession shouldn't be with food. It should be like, my God, I read the saddest article today online. It was in USA Today, I think. And it was about, it was over in the UK. They had to cut a wall out of this house to get this 17-year-old girl who weighs 835 pounds. I don't even want to, it's none of, you know, somebody will yell at me if I go, if I say something like, I don't know how you got that. But I think it's very sad. I think it's sad. You know, I saw an article one time about some three-year-old girl who weighed 250 pounds and her mom's putting her on the news. It's like, what's wrong with you? Why don't you feed her something different? She's like, yeah, all she likes to eat is macaroni and cheese. Why don't you go check yourself out of dumbasshotel.com and get some, ugh. <laughs> or like the, the kid that's in the, in the um, emergency room because all she eats is McDonald's. Even the people at McDonald's will tell you, you're not supposed to eat McDonald's morning, noon, and night. If you ate Pizza Hut morning, noon, and night, if you ate Panera morning, noon, and night, you probably have a problem. Guys, restaurants, they put butter on everything. Maybe, I'm not speaking about Panera, I'm not speaking about specifically in anything. I've worked in enough restaurants. They put butter on everything, even their healthy items, okay? There's butter in sauces. Now, so when I cook and I'm entertaining and I'm making something fattening and indulgent, I put butter in everything. I put butter in my lasagna sauce, my red sauce, okay? There's butter and cream in everything. You specifically have to ask for it. So don't be foolish and think, oh yeah, you know, I'm eating at Panera, everything's healthy. Again, I'm not dogging on Panera at all. You can make healthy choices or healthier choices anywhere. But some people, like, they'll go into a place like a Panera or like an Arby's. So let me balance it out. I don't want to, I'm not slamming Panera in any way here. But if you don't know enough to look up your calories online and you go into a Panera, you might go, I'll have the Sierra turkey sandwich. Now, unless they've changed it, if you get that Sierra turkey sandwich on that beautiful bread, it's about 850 calories, okay? For a lot of women that are looking to lose weight, it's probably, I'm guessing that what you would be trying to shoot for in your daily calories is maybe 1,300 to 1,600, that's a guess. If you have an 850 calorie sandwich, you've already used up, what, what is that, you know, 75%, I'm not a math person, that quickly. You've used up a good portion of your calories, okay? And yet you could look at their veggie sandwich, which if I'm correct, on their whole wheat bread might have 600 calories. That still is a lot. You could get that and chicken noodle soup and have a, a much more balanced meal. Just, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes, and then alternatively at Arby's, some people might go through there and go, market fresh turkey sandwich, I'll have that. That has, if I'm correct, an average of about seven to 800 calories. Whereas a medium roast beef has, if I'm correct, 440 calories. You wouldn't think that the roast beef is actually less caloric than that. It's, it's like, um, what were we comparing? Um, a McDonald's Big Mac is, uh, it's right around 550, 570 calories. Whopper with cheese at, at Burger King, uh, I think it's around 700, 750. And a turkey sandwich at those two places is 850. Who would have thought that a Big Mac with, you know, the burger, you know what I'm saying? Do your research and don't fool yourself into thinking, well, I ordered a turkey sandwich, I'm healthy. You've gotta really know, and don't don't take everything I just said and go, I can't eat out anywhere. Yes, you can. Just make sure you ask and, and knowledge is power. So I got off on a tangent there, but I think I do pretty much every time I shoot a vlog. <sighs> Nine minutes. Um, also, you guys have been writing me asking about some of the books I'm reading um, to find out about supplements and you know balancing this hormone stuff um, there's three books and really what I'm doing is this is more I'm reading all the books that have been highly recommended and kind of seeing the common denominators in them so one of these books actually has the word diet in it this one I'm not reading this book and going on a hormone diet I'm reading these to see what they say and what's common with what I've talked to Val about what's in this book um, this is a lot about hormones, and this isn't just about women that are in premenopause. This is about infertility, um, 
women that have endo endometrio I can't talk endometriosis, PMS, yada yada. And then I'm rereading this, uh, which has a lot of information. Although I have to be honest with you, you know, back in the day when I first read that, I was kind of like really turned off when um, Jillian Michaels like writes this whole book about, you know, oh I quit Diet Coke, I quit all these supplements, and now I just eat natural foods, and then she comes out with a line of supplements. I'm like. Can you just write a whole book about not doing that? Again, I could be misspeaking, uh, but I'm pretty sure that those um, supplements had, you know, a bunch of the stuff that she was talking about not doing anymore. I'm the first person to admit when I'm wrong, but that was just kind of one of those. Kind of like when Jennifer Nicole Lee, um, who trains like a mother and has the body to show for it, comes out with this ab circle machine and is actually hawking it as only 20 minutes a day. Everybody on the planet knows, and especially, especially someone like that with a bikini competition background or a figure competition background or fitness competition knows, you don't get abs by just using a machine, period. So those kind of things upset me even more. If you came out, you can come out with an ab machine that does work your abs, we all know that. But there are people out there that will get duped into buying, even if it's 20 bucks, they'll buy something like that thinking, oh great, now I'm gonna have abs because this is all I have to do. And then they keep eating ho-hos and pizza for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and wonder why nothing works. That's not right. If you, in my opinion, if you're an expert like this and you know what you're doing and you have all these great, she has great information out there, aside from her book where her ego becomes bigger than the Eiffel Tower, um, you know, put it, put a product out like that and say, look, this is part of, of what I do to maintain this kind of physique. This is part of a fitness program. You'll want to pair it with this, that. I mean, I just, when I see that, I'm like, seriously? <sighs> that said, I'm going to go make my lunch. Damn. I slept in today, and um, it's later than I thought. So you guys have a great weekend. I'm going to go start packing up my house.